Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my September wrap up, like my September reading wrap up, all the books that I read in the month of September. Now if you watched my September TBR, which was right at the start of September, I did a TBR of 10 books. I have read 12 and I have read all the books on my TBR plus two extras. Granted, I mainly did those two extras just because I didn't want the video to be the exact same as my TBR, which is why in my TBR that I'm doing this month, I'm only going to give eight books because then there's more, book, more books that I haven't given to you that you don't know about. That makes any sense. So I'm just going to read through the books that I have read. I didn't read any short stories this month. They were pure physical written books. And there was quite a quite a few like 400 page books. I, the first book I read was If You Could Go Anywhere by Paige Toon. It, this was an ebook. How much did I like? What did I rate this? I think I rated it five stars. I do remember I really loved it. Like it was so good, and for me, I just loved it. I don't know what it was about it, but, but I just loved it. And oh, it focused on this girl who's now lost her grandmother. Well, I say girl, but she's 27. This woman who's lost her grandmother who, and she's now free to move. Not Well, she's now free to travel. And so the first place she goes is to meet her father who was never in her life because her mother passed away days due to childbirth and her grandparents apparently didn't know but they did but they just hid it from her and so she goes to meet her family and along the way there's romance there's high tensions and it's just such like a feel good book and even though the romance like the person who the romance is with is in a, a little bit iffy like the connection to her father that he has it was also just sort of a really nice thing like it was a cozy story it didn't really have like it was a romance but it also wasn't it was just a really good feel good book really then i read the race by clive kersler well i finished the race by clive kersler i had 250 pages of it to go i did enjoy the race i had been pushing off reading it like finishing it though which is the whole reason why i had the 250 pages and it was good I'd rate this like a three and a half, three and a half star. Yeah, I'd rate this a three and a half stars, just because it was good, but it wasn't captivating me. I was just reading it because I don't like f having books unfinished. That's the main reason why it was. I finished it, and also the fact that it was playing on my mind, and it was like I need to finish that book, but I can't be bothered. But let's just get on with it, and yeah. I liked it but it wasn't like a favourite. Then I read Blood Song by Anthony Ryan or at least I finished it. I had 490 pages or around that to finish. Like I'd read 218 and it was 228 I think or I'd read 228 and it was 218 it was something like that. But I know I had a massive way to go uh, and I, the moment I finished it I just felt so relieved like a weight was off my shoulders it was like I finished this book I now don't have to worry about it I first started it back when I tried reading a book every day for seven for like a new book every day for a week that's when I started that book I hadn't picked it up till this month but I'm just so glad to have been finished with it. I actually have the books and I forgot to get them out of my bookcase. 
By the way, I read five physical books and seven ebooks just because I find it so much easier just to go through an ebook and just because it's easy to pick up during the day, I think, because we always have technology on us. And so, yeah. So, The Race by Clive Custer, I've got the hardback. I'd prefer the paperback, but hardback's alright. <laughs> yeah, like I said, three and a half stars. Bloodsome by Anthony Ryan. <sighs> I never told you what I rated this, did I? No. What did I rate this? Three stars. It was well written, I just think it could have been shorter. Like, it just could have been made more concise. There was a lot of detail in it, like a lot of description. It could have been shorter. After Blood Song, I read Fire in the Mind by RJ Lewis. I really enjoyed Fire in the Mind. I rated it four stars. It was about this parapsychologist who went to do a lecture and was recruited by the police, or at least by one of the policemen, to, and it was a policeman. I know obviously it's police officer, but it was a man, so that's why I'm saying policeman. And he, the parapsychologist was helping find the cause of the case and helping find the killer and along the way people are put in danger, someone dies and eventually the person, I can't remember, it was like basically eventually the person gets caught. I can't remember in which way, whether it was death or prison but yeah. It was really good, I enjoyed it and I would recommend it just wasn't that it just wasn't five stars for me it just it was good but it didn't like fully grip me at least not till towards the end so it could be more like a four and a half stars but it was still a good book then I read The Perfect Wife by Blake Pierce I'm having to check which order I read things in I gave this a five stars I loved it the tension and also the fact that there was so much that we didn't know and it was though we were seeing it through a natural person's eyes if that makes any sense and we feel as though we're there with her we can Im I, could, I certainly could imagine it I really enjoyed this book I honestly there was the person who is the bad guy I never expected to be the bad guy like there's a criminal in it and like obviously he's a bad guy but the fact that he's helping this person but then it also leaves you on like a little bit of a cliffhanger and it well no it doesn't give you a leave you on a cliffhanger it gives you the shocking fact and then it ends and then it so it's like it makes you want to go get the second book and read the second book yeah I just I really enjoyed it then the next book I finished was If I Went to the Night by Italo Calvino this one pretty much took me a lot of the month to finish like I took so long reading it Sometimes I'd read just a chapter or two, but I managed to finish it with a week of September to go, or about a week. Could have been 10 days, I can't remember. But, oh. This, it was good, but the way it was written was so intricate that you had to fully pay attention to it. You had to fully focus on it, and... It did take a little bit of time to get my head around it all and also the writing style is different to normal books. I don't know what point I got up to, I don't know what I was saying before I got interrupted but the next book I read was The Watcher by Matthew Hattersley. This was related to a like a professional killer and she's ordered to do a 
professional kills and or extermination as they refer to it in the book and basically how on her last on one of her extermination tasks she doesn't do it and how then it hits put in her head and it follows through as they learn the truth about things and as it all unfolds how much did, how what did I rate this? I rated it four stars I really enjoyed it some bits were a little bit on the bland side slash boring but I still really enjoyed it it was just not fully my taste but again I really enjoyed it then I read Killer Intent by Tony Kent and by the way so far all these books were on my TBR for September but Killer Intent I gave four stars it followed along on an assassination and people being put in danger and people then there's some people trying to like there's two lots of people like there's a pair of people and then one person trying to get to the bottom of what happens and in the end they join forces there is a sadness at the end but it's all in the name of justice and I wasn't expecting Stanton to be who Stanton is but it makes sense it does make sense but yeah I gave it a good four stars then I read Hardfall by Phil Reed this one wasn't on my TBR I gave this a four stars it follows a man who lost his wife and son and how to start with he's trying to find what happened to them and then he gets hired onto a case about a missing boy who disappeared a decade ago and it follows along as he tries to solve that and there's at the start you feel sorry for the character and then towards the end you really get gripped into like finding out what happens then right at the end there's like like a twist yeah twist that you don't expect and it's like related to the murder of his wife and son and it is so 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 unexpected never mentioned but so unexpected but it's like oh my god I did not expect that but yeah so good then I read Crimson Lake by Candace Fox this is one of the new books this is actually the only book in this month that I actually had bought myself like I bought it in my book haul like my WH Smith haul and I really enjoyed this I'd give this like a four and a half stars right at the start it it was quite slow but it was also setting the scene and it just follows along on a man who had been accused of being a child rapist and abuser and how he's lost he lost his job in the police and he's in this place called Crimson Lake and who follows along as he gets a job with a criminal like a murderer in who's just started a PI firm and it follows along on him dwelling on his past her past and also on this case that they've been given and finding out who killed this like where this writer is and then when part of him is found like who killed him and I didn't expect the killers to be who they were but because I don't think there was any uh, such clue to it but I really enjoyed it I did actually really enjoy it and I'm actually quite glad that I'm enjoying the books that I bought because I, I with buying books there's obviously the fear that you're not going to enjoy the book 
because I hadn't read an ebook of it, I hadn't read a sample at all. I was just buying it based on the description and I did really enjoy this, but it wasn't like a five stars, which is why I gave it four. And basically in the end, not only was the writer's murder solved, but there was, I guess, a major lead in his case. And then also the truth about the reason why she killed a fellow like classmate came out as well. And so it was all sort of like a nice ending. And I, I just really enjoyed the book. Then I read No More Secrets by Jack Brandon. This was the other book, other ebook that I'd read that wasn't on my TBR. And I gave this four stars. What was this about again? I can't remember. That's the only problem when you can't remember what the book was about. Oh yeah, I need all I needed was to read the first line because when you read so many books, you actually have to read a prompt to remember what the book is about. But basically it follows along on this man who's tasked with protecting this high tech piece of equipment that has the power to like, it's like a computer system that ha can override any encryption, encryption, any firewalls can guess into the data, can find out anything and it follows along how these people are after it and then this man's obviously charged in protecting it and them moving this important machine like software setup and just protecting it and its new location and their lives being gone after and there's quite a few people involved like to start with there's Chinese people like there's the Chinese then there's Russians is there any other else? There's like an Italian mob in America, like an Italian American mob. There's just quite a few people who are after this piece of technology and I, do, I really enjoyed it. This was one of the shorter ones, it was like 200 and something pages. But in fact, Hardfall was short as well. And I just, I enjoyed it but it was like a five stars. Then I finished The Sinner by Tess Gerritsen. I started this at the start of the month and then left 100 pages to go and then she put it down with the intent of finishing it, having it be the last book of September. I finished the last couple of pages like three minutes into October. It's a September read and I really enjoyed this. I did happen to notice a spelling mistake in the book. There is a spelling mistake in a Tess Gerritsen book. But I really enjoyed this. I'd rate this a good five stars. It follows along on the murder of two nuns and finding out why they were killed. Then there's this new victim who's been added and finding out like she starts out as being not related then to the main case and they become connected and I just I really enjoyed it and also the characters had stuff going on in their personal lives and it just made it feel like quite real and I just really enjoyed it and I think this book is was written before and the other Tess Gerritsen book I read. I can't remember what it's called. The book was Last to Die by Tess Gerritsen. I read that in August, no July. Oh God. But part of this, like that was mentioned, it refers to something that starts at the end of this book and this book was written in 2003 Jesus and then this was written in 2012 it makes sense as to why they're um, a little different but I just 
Tess Gerritsen writes such good books. Like, oh, they are so, so good. But yeah, I gave it a five stars and the killer wasn't mentioned till really late on, or at least I don't remember him being mentioned late on. But that's all the books I read in the month of September. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know in the comment section of any videos you want to see from me and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!